everyone. This is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys one way that you could probably save over $2,000, maybe even perhaps $3,000 a year on groceries. Let's get started and talk about it. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. Our family does budget $500 a month for a family of three on grocery items. That doesn't include cleaning. That includes everything. That even includes all my packed lunches that we bring with us wherever we go. I bring food and beverages with me wherever I go. That way I don't buy food out. That includes all of that. Well, one big part of that budget is drinks. If we cut out drinks and anything that you want to perhaps and just drink water, don't drink coffee or anything, it would save a lot of money. I'm going to show you today the cost of some of these items and if I were to buy all this every week, how much that would cost me a week and how much would that cost me a year. We're first going to start with coffee. Now I'm not saying that any of us should cut any of this stuff out. I'm saying if something really happened where I'm like, oh no, our budget has to be cut. These are things that are not needs. We could actually cut out coffee. Now I did get this on sale, but this uh, community coffee retails for $9.99. I did get it on sale for $5.99. Okay, so there's almost 10 bucks right there. Okay, so if you're not buying coffee, we don't need to buy Alzi Poo his creamer. We don't need to buy me my half and half or full fat whipping cream. This thing's like five bucks. I use it for recipes, but I can also use that in coffee. And we definitely wouldn't need the skinny syrup, okay? These things are all costly. The creamer's about three. Coffee retail is 10. Half and half's around three. And heavy whipping cream's over $5, okay? So it's that. Also, protein drinks. I don't have to buy these. If, if I really didn't want to, I could perhaps just make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and not do that. I don't remember how much these cost because I order them by case, but let's just say they cost. I even did this on a low budget if everything was on sale. Let's say these were five, okay? They're more than that, but let's say. Juice depends if you get on sale. I mean, I put down, less, this is maybe two to three dollars for this cranberry juice. It's not an absolute need, but hey, you know, we do have it. Now, my husband loves chocolate milk. Not a need, something you enjoy. This is like $3 for that. Okay, this is a thing of iced tea. I don't know, I think it was, uh, it would have been $2 for this. And then uh, orange juice. This orange juice, I think was three fifty. dollars no, it might have been $3. $3 for that. Now, I'm not saying that it's not okay to buy these things. I'm saying if you really wanted to cut your budget, you could. Okay, I did buy it for a treat, and I haven't even had any of them, and this will last me. Zero Sugar Sun Kiss, so I can bring one of these to my job. I think these were $3.50 for this six of these. And then the Gatorade, uh, there's six of them. My husband likes to drink Gatorade and brings it with to do when he's out with me, $7. So as you can see, and I don't know if I'm close, oh yes, and these, this is some wine, okay? So, you know, that is it. And I will mention this to you guys. Not as much during the winter, but during the summer, I do tend to buy some refreshing alcohol, like wine cooler type drinks, beer, things like that, because I do like to have something cold. It lasts me a long time. It's not like I drink a case a week, but, you know, 10 to 12 bucks, that does add up. So I didn't even add, really didn't add much alcohol to this list. But all of this a week, depending on the prices of these items, if you were to buy all this stuff, that's about $54 a week. That's over $200 a month, which averages out to over $2,800 a year. Now, I'm not saying that we should get rid of all this stuff, but I see a lot of people in the stores buying cases. They have like a large family, and they'll buy four or five cases of pop each week. And because each family member likes a different kind and then you go buy all the alcohol and then you buy all the fixings for coffee and then some people like juices and then you buy protein drinks. All of this stuff adds up big time. And if I really had to do a deep dive on my budget and really cut my budget, probably the thing I would look at is I would see what drinks can I cut out of my budget and buy food instead. That would save so much money doing that. Let me know what you guys think. I, th I just thought I would show you guys this. I thought it'd be kind of fun to do. 
Are there drinks in your life that you have, whether it's coffee, tea, doesn't matter, orange juice, whatever it is that you would be willing to cut out to save money? I want to hear from you in the comments below. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.